Genshin Impact is a beautiful free-to-play open-world action RPG coming to PC, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, iOS and Android and just like its beautiful world, the game is filled with vibrant characters as well. In this video we'll meet some of these characters and check out their short previews currently available on the official Genshin Impact website. Also, thanks to the team at MiHoYo, I'll be giving away one beta key of your preferred platform for the upcoming closed beta that will be on PlayStation 4, PC, Android and iOS. More on how to win later in the video, but if you're familiar with Gleam, the link is already in the description. But of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't apply for the beta yourself on the website, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket and that kind of stuff. This is gonna be a short preview video for characters in Teyvat's Mondstadt, which I find to be a lovely name for a town. Those who speak German probably caught on to it already, as well as multiple other things in the series so far as many foreign words are from German, but Mondstadt means Moon City, or rather City of Moon in a sense. And that's where we will be focusing on today. As more locations and characters are added to the previews, we can certainly look at others as well. Did you know Kirito's voice actor Yoshitsuko Matsuoka is voicing a character in Liyue Harbor? You will find many Sword Art Online voice actors in the Japanese dub of the game actually. And of course, if you want to learn more in-depth information on these characters, certainly do check out the manga published on the official website for free. There's a lovely prologue for the story of the game, as well as chapters upon chapters of manga that will give you a much better insight on many of these characters. But starting with Jean, voiced by Saito Chiba in the Japanese dub, if you didn't realize yet, the Japanese dub is what I'll focus on, not because I love the tone of the language, but also because only the Japanese voice actors are mentioned on the website. Jean is the acting Grand Master of the Knights, who is very devoted to her studies, as well as maintaining peace in Mondstadt. She had taken precautions long before the onset of Storm Terror's assault, Storm Terror being the dragon you have seen in various trailers, and she will guard the city with her life. Her attire certainly reminds me of Chevalier Deon from Fate series. As for her voice actor Saito Chiva, you will recognize her as Chloe von Einspan from Fate series or as Alicia Rue, the leader of the Kate Sits from Sword Art Online or many other works as well. That's just the two where I recognize her from. Although her voice performance is obviously much more different in this game compared to the two I mentioned. Next up we got Amber, someone you will recognize from a lot of the promotional material for the game. She's quite front and center on that front, but not just limited to that. She's a perky, straightforward girl who is also the only outrider of the Knights of Favonius. Her mastery of the glider made her a three-time winner of the gliding champion in Mondstadt, and you can even see her using that glider of hers during gameplay trailers. As a rising star within the Knights of Favonius, she's always ready for challenging tasks. As for her voice actor, Iwami Manaka, she wasn't in any of the series I follow, she doesn't have much under her belt in general actually, but I do love her performance so far from what I have seen. Next up we got Lisa, voiced by Tanaka Rie, an intellectual witch who apparently really enjoys having a nap. She is the librarian of the Knights of Favonius and thus she knows exactly what to do, no matter what kind of a problem she faces. Despite her fondness of sleeping, she still manages to keep everything under control in a calm and composed manner. While her voice actor is unfamiliar to me, Tanaka Rie still has a lot of stuff under her belt. Her performance definitely reminds me of Queen Ella a lot though, that's probably more because of the typical ara ara phrases. The most trusted aide for the acting Grandmaster Jean is Kaya, someone you can always count on, voiced by Toriyumi Kosuke. Well, he's quite the favorite among the citizens of Mondstadt, nobody really knows the secrets behind his wit and charm. As for his voice actor, he is the voice of Robin Hood, the archer in Fate Extra Last Encore, as well as Grand Order, among tons and tons of other roles. Barbara, voiced by Kito Akari, is the deaconess of the Favonius Church and a shining starlet adored by all. Uh, what's a deaconess again? Oh, in the early church and some modern churches, a woman with duties similar to those of a deacon. A very helpful Google, well, what's a deacon now? An ordained minister of an order ranking below that of a priest. Now that's more understandable for sure. Although the concept of a starlet is rather novel in a city of bards, the people of Mondstadt love Barbara nonetheless. According to her, she owes her popularity to the city's spirit of freedom. That's quite the vibrant character description there. 
fittingly to your character, her voice actor Kito Akari is the voice of Kanata Konoe from Love Live. Yep, definitely a great fit among her many other roles. Diluc is the wealthiest gentleman in Mondstadt and presents himself as the epitome of perfection. But despite the facade, he has a zealous soul that has sworn to protect Mondstadt at all costs, allowing him to mercilessly vanquish all who threaten his city. He is voiced by Kensho Ono. In fact, the first chapter of the Genshin Impact manga focuses on him quite a lot, so certainly a good opportunity to check out this fancy gentleman on the official Genshin Impact website. Some say he's an orphan raised by wolves, others say he is a wolf spirit in human form. All we know is that he's not the Stig, he is Razor, voiced by Uchiyama Koki. <laughs> Uh, excited to see which rare portion of those who watch this video will even get that reference. Razor is most at home in the wild, fighting with claw and thunder, but of course he also has his trusty weapon there as well. To this day, the wolf boy can be found prowling the forest, where he and his wolf pack hunt to survive using nothing more than their animal instincts. As for his voice actor, Uchiyama Koki, God damn, he is Kotomine Shiro from Fate Apocrypha, among many other roles from many different series. On comes Venti, a bard that seems to have arrived on some unknown wind, as if she is part of the nature, sometimes singing songs as old as the hills, other times singing poems fresh and new. In fact, the prologue manga story completely focuses on Venti and Vanessa, a character not included in this list for a reason, so I do recommend checking that one out for her real identity. She is voiced by Murase Ayumo, who... oh my god, she voices Recon from Sword Art Online. What a coincidence, from one wind mage to another. Klee, voiced by Kuno Misaki, appears to be quite the explosive personality. Spark Knight of the Knights of Favonius, forever with a band and a flash, and then disappearing from the stern gaze of acting Grandmaster Jean. Sure, time in solitary confinement gives a lot of time to think about new gunpowder formulas, but it'd still be better not be in solitary in the first place. Uh, the, don't leave the explosive lolly without supervision, I guess. Bennett belongs to the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild, who often finds themselves tangled up in baffling bouts of bad luck with others. He is the only active member of his own adventure group known as Benny's Adventure Team, apparently after everyone else in the group decided to take leave after a series of unfortunate incidents, yikes. While the group is thus on the verge of being dissolved due to having only a single member, it was still kept on the books by Catherine of the Adventurers Guild to not break the poor boy's heart. As for his voice actor, what a departure from his role in Sword Art Online, from Kanamoto Atsushi, more commonly known as Johnny Black or the third Death Gun, Osuka Ryota voices Bennett in Genshin Impact. Noel, voiced by Takao Kanon, has always dreamed of being one of the Knights of Favonius when she grew up. Well, she may not have what it takes to be one, she's certainly working hard and learning while she works as a maid at the Knights' headquarters, taking notes on knightly speech, conduct and customs. As long as she keeps trying her best, she believes she'll one day join the knighthood. Her voice actor does not have much under her belt either, so I guess a perfect fit for the character working hard to prove herself in her new role. Last but not least, we have Fischl, with no voice actor announced on the website for her Japanese voice at the moment. She calls herself Princess in the Verurteilung, which is the fancy way of, no, not really, it's just a German way of saying, Princess of Condemnation. She travels with her Night Raven named Oz and serves in the intelligence department of the Adventurers Guild. With her eccentric character and unique abilities that you can also see in the recent trailers of Genshin Impact, she earned the recognition of everyone at the Adventurers Guild. But that's it from the currently available character previews for those residing in Mondstadt. There's currently only 5 character previews available for Liyue Harbor, so I'll probably wait a bit for a video on that, maybe combine with an area that will be revealed later. But now comes the information on giveaway. While I would appreciate likes and comments, those won't be required for the giveaway at all, although you're free to like and comment, it, it does make me feel better. All you need to do is follow the giveaway link below and there you will see multiple ways to enter. First and mandatory one is answering a simple question, based on what you know so far, Who's your favorite character? Naturally, I'll check that the answer 
is actually one of the characters previewed in this video. The rest of the entries are optional but will increase your chances of winning should you go for them. The end date for the giveaway I have not yet decided, probably Sunday next week, but you'll be able to see it on the giveaway page once this video goes live. With that, good luck to you all and a huge thanks to the Genshin Impact team at MiHoYo for providing the opportunity to have this giveaway. I will announce the winner as a community post here on YouTube as well as on Twitter and Facebook and also contact the winner for some required information, so do check your DMs or emails after the announcement if you end up being the winner. But as always, Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to subscribe for more, a special thanks to all my patrons and channel members, I'll see you in the next one, until then, stay cool.